सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू टूडे इज गेट को डेली क्वेश्चन दैट इज डोमिनो एंड ट्रोमिनो टाइलिंग सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू यूज अ डोमिनो टाइलिंग दैट इज गिवेन ओर ईयर एंड ट्रोमिनो टाइल दैट इज अ थ्री शेप थ्री स्क्वायर टाइल एंड यू हैव टू फिल यू सो यू हैव इन गिवेन एन एन एंड यू हैव टू फिल अ बोर्ड ऑफ टू इन टू एन सो एज यू कैन सी टू इन टू एन यू हैव टू फिल द बोर्ड कंप्लीटली यूजिंग डोमिनो टाइल एंड ट्रोमिनो टाइल सो वी हैव टू रिटर्न एट दी एंड how many in how many ways can we use this domino and trimino tile and we can fill this matrix so as you can see for n is equal to 3 that is a matrix of 2 into 3 we have five ways of filling this matrix using domino and trimino tile so uh, for n equal to 1 we have only one way so just let me explain you how it goes so as you can see uh, we have n is equal to 4 and for n is equal to 4 that is we have 2 into 4 matrix 2 into n so 2 into 4 matrix so how many ways can we use this we uh, how many ways are there to fill a 2 into 4 matrix using domino and trimino tile that is 11 now i have explained you how it goes so i have uh, made i have prepared an image of how this 11 matrix is put uh, look like so here the red uh, the red uh, the red block the red three block is a trimino tile and the yellow one is a domino tile that is a two square tile so here are 11 ways where in which you can fill a 2 into 4 uh matrix using domino and trimino tile so there can be multiple you have to make uh, multiple per permutation combination and uh, you have to check how it go and how we can uh, fill it in different unique ways so this is these are the 11 ways so coming to the question so uh, the only we have to fill, so we can be given any n so we have to return in how many ways we can fill those matrix but the problem is here we don't know how to exactly make that permutation combination so the only way uh, we can solve this question is by using sequence knowledge so if you see we have to recognize a sequence and also recognize a pattern and using that pattern we can Fill the DPRA. So uh, I have just uh, uh, I have just written over here the expected values for n. So for n equal to one, uh, you have only this uh, one tile that is so uh, two into one tile. So we can use a one a single domino tile. So number of faces one for n is equal to two. We can have two types. Uh, we can uh, fill the matrix of two into two that is four into two into two ways. One is using two domino tiles in a slanting in that is in horizontal way and or using two domino tiles in a vertical way so there are two ways so n is equal to 3 as it was given in the question uh, we have 5 and for n is equal to 4 I, as i explained you uh, above there are 11 ways and for n is equal to 5 um, uh, now we tell you a pattern so believing that it, it should be 24 so how do you find the pattern so if you see let's just assume that we know this five, three values okay so we know this three values so for uh, n is equal to 4 that is any i so for this 11 how can this 11 be calculated so this 11 can be cal calculated by multiplying 5 into into 2 plus and we will add the first element that is for 1 so 5 into 2 is 10 Plus one gives eleven. Similarly, for twenty-four, if we multiply the d i minus one, that is the previous element into two, that gives twenty-two. And if we add the i minus two th element, that is, uh, sorry, i minus three th element, that is, uh, um, the eleven was the i minus one, five minus was the i minus two, and two is the i minus three. So eleven into two, twenty-two plus two. Plus two gives us twenty-four. So the basic solution or the basic pattern we recognize just now is uh, let me write that. So this is the basic formula we will use. That is dp of i is equal to dp of i minus one into two plus dp of i minus three. So uh, this is the uh, code which I have written. So this is basically what I have done is that uh, for I have I have initialized a dp array. And then I have used, uh, I have stored dp of zero, dp of one, dp of two, with one, two, and five, which are the first three values we know. 
that is uh, so since we are using index so we will be using zero base index so at the end we will be returning dp of n minus 1 okay so uh, then from i equal to 3 to i less than n i will uh, just do what i just explained dp of i is equal to dp of i minus 1 into 2 plus dp of i minus 3 and since it has been given that uh, uh, the number can be very large so we, we will use modulo so i have uh, also initial i have uh, written i have initialized the modulo over here i e 9 plus 7 and then uh, at, at each step i will just uh, modulo with the mod variable okay so uh, let's just uh, explain let's just take an example another so for i equal to n equal to 6 so we know this three values right for uh, now for the i equal to 3 so we will do phi that is dp of i minus 1 that is phi into 2 plus dp of i minus 3 that is 1 so this gives us 11 now the next one for the, uh, the previous element that dp of i minus 1 into 2 that is uh, 11 into 2 22 plus 2 dp of i minus 3 that is 24 okay so now the next one is simple uh, the, uh, 24 into 2 that is uh, we get 48 uh, 48 plus we will return uh, 5 48 plus 5 so 48 plus 5 we get as 53 so for n equal to 6 if we get we will return dp of n minus 1 that is dp of 5 and dp of 5 is, 50, is 53 so for n equal to 6 the answer is 53 so uh, let's just uh, submit this code and it should run yes it is uh, running so this is how it goes it was a simple one and uh, uh, here uh, just the uh, knowledge of sequencing was uh, and uh, pattern selection was uh, needed we had to identify a pattern so thank you for being with me i hope you liked the video and do like and subscribe the channel if you liked it and thank you